near the New South Wales Queensland border. So up in up in Bogabilla are Auntie Bernadette Duncan and Ada, who's from Tumala. And Auntie Bernadette leads the Gadigal Women's Language and Culture Network. And they've been meeting with the women for healing and connection to country and working to restore diets that are rich in native grains and URT. They also have some special grain storage and knowledge, and we're very honoured to be joined by Bernadette and Ada this morning. So, Auntie, over to you. Yama, everyone. Yama Gendai. Um, we haven't really started. We've got a big day planned next Monday with Johnny Cakes and Yurara on the riverbank to try and get people um, to come or start thinking about um, traditional food and um, as a healing um healing practice to start getting back into traditional food. So if we get um, the grains and start producing our own grains and flour, um, it's gonna help, especially a lot of our old people um, who've been living for decades on all the white flour and salt and um, fat, and it's really made them all sick in, in, in the belly and they can't explain it. They don't know what's going on, but I do know that when they go back and eat traditional food and drink traditional um, herbal teas, they get better. So we're looking to um, research a lot more and experiment with this, with these grains to get it into the daily lifestyle of the people on Tumala Mission and Bogabilla. So for, for those on the webinar that don't know yet, the, the Atlas of Living Australia is a, it's an, a publicly accessible database of species. And Auntie Bernadette and the team have been adding the Aboriginal, well, the, the Gamilaray words and other languages. Um, and thank you for sharing your knowledge with us today. Gabba, thank you. Uh, we're going to head back out to Walgut. So we're going to join Rhonda Ashby and the Walgut Wiringar, which means women. Um, so this women's group has been meeting to reconnect with people, food, and country. And they've been experimenting with the same flowers that Auntie Beryl experimented with as well. And they've been out cooking just this morning. Rhonda um, and the Walgut Wiringa, over to you guys. Yama, um, first of all, I want to start off um, by acknowledging Aunty Faye Green is one of our elders here in um, Walgut, and also Diane Walford, who's one of the participants um, with the Garibal project. So we might just start off with an acknowledgement first. Hey, hello, my name's Faye Green. Uh, and welcome to what we are uh, experiencing today. And I also would like to acknowledge um, elders, past and present. And just say hello to you. I'm Diane Kennedy Walford. I'm a um, Gamilaroi True Blue woman dedicated to my people and my land. I have a 94 year old mother that I care for and still she lived off to all this all this food and she's still survived and she's good as gold. Hello, my name is Dana Ashby. Um, I'm a Grimillory woman. Hi, I'm Wendy. I'm one of the McKillop workers uh, supporting the, the project. Hello, my name's Jenny. I'm just a pillar of the community, mate. Hi, my name's Michelle. <laughs> okay, just a little bit about the project we've been doing here. Um, um, the Garigal Project, which is a part of the um, Atlas, Living, Living Australian Atlas. Um, the project has been going for the last few months. We've been going out on country trying, trying to identify some of the plants, um, especially the grasses. I think it's um, important that we identify the grasses because it plays a, a significant role with our song lines. Now we've got mothers here, so we also have babies. So um, yeah. that's just a part of the package here. Um, <laughs> take one, take us all. <laughs> so identifying some of the grasses. Um, we've been doing a collection. There's some grasses we don't know, but we'll, you know, we're researching those grasses. One of the popular one was the kangaroo grass. And we also have some um, flower there of the kangaroo grass. Um, and the, the weeping grass, also um, the millet grass is a, is a very favourable one. It's, it's a nice tasting. And not just with the grasses, also the plants. We've been um, getting the seeds from the plants and, you know, starch could come from plants and flower can come from starch. Um, and not far from where we are in Walgut, there's a, about an hour's drive. It's a place called Cuddy Springs. 
um, Cuddy Springs, um, 65,000 years ago, there was a stone that had some starch on it, a grinding stone, and they back backdated that to 65,000 years. Um, and that was a woman who invented that bread. So that throws the, the rocks off the Egyptian um, walls over there of their bread making, which is 13,000 years. So we were the first bread makers and proudly enough, women. Um, I just want to throw that in. Some of the bread we made this morning, um, this was made out of weeping, weeping grass. It's a bit darker. Um, we also um, got away from the salt and used our old man salt bush. But um, we've been using um, parajong, um, acacia seeds. Um, we've also been working with the grasses weaving. Um, the most important thing, we, we don't want to look at this as a, a commodity. We want to look at this as a healing. I think our people need to heal first with country and country needs to heal with us. So we're not looking at this as a money, a commodity thing. We're looking at this as a healing and getting healthy diets back into our communities and that well-being for our people and our children. So we've got to think about our old people before us and the pathways and the legacies they left for us and for us to pass that on to our young, run, young ones. Um, I think that's very important to think about them old people and them young ones. And we've got work to do for that. And this, this is work. This is the best work we could do in a community grassroot base level. Um, yeah, I, I think it's fantastic. I can see the, the um, confidence and the empowerment of the women since the Garagol project um, has started. Garagol in the Milroy language means um, gaps. So we believe there's, there's gaps with um, Western science, with traditional science, not us as with the traditional science, but Western, Western science need to fill those gaps up um, where traditional science um, didn't have any gaps with our native foods and grains and um, way of life and trying to bring back some of our storylines and song lines as well. Because, you know, with the Seven Sisters, those grasses were very important with those song lines and storylines. And now with this project, we're starting to get out there, um, out to Gingi and out to Nemai and also in town working with the women and doing um, gardens, um, native gardens out in those communities. So that's us. I'm not going to say any more, Angela. <laughs> <laughs> we actually made Johnny cakes and um, included like native grains in the Johnny cakes. So this grain, this Johnny cake is weeping grass. Is a weeping grass, and it's not no flour, just a little bit of flour included. And so, as you can see, it came out pretty brown. Honey, Faye, um, as a community elder, what do you think about um, groups like this doing what we've been doing here today? I'm, I'm very proud of the young people. Uh, I've been around quite a while and I've worked a lot with um, um, education. So I, I'm very proud that these young women see today will keep on continuing their cultural ways and, and their ways of living. We lived off the land, and they still continue, still continue to do that, and I, and that's making me so proud of them. It's important for me as an elder to be here with them and supporting them and to everything that I, I could give them some information on things because I've lived on a mission and we lived off the land. We need know a lot of the bushes that they they I could explain to them about and some things. I can't, but yes, I think it's just the same as our language that we've lost. I support them at the, we've got our languages and culture back in the school and they're teaching our language now and I supported that all through the mentor. While if I'm on this land, I will always support the young people in the cultural ways. But before we go, I just want to um, say, you know, like our, our people were, we were farming this country well before a white man put his foot on these soils. And we farm, our people farm this land without any machinery, without any dollar. Um, we worked in with the natural environment, with our foods, our medicines, with our well-being, our social life. Um, and 
you know, that, that connection we have with country um, is very special. It, it's an emotional, spiritual, you know, it just, the list goes on. Um, and I think if we can get back out and start practicing um, uh, some of our cultural practices, like with the, the grasses, collecting the grasses and the seeds and, and our bush foods and medicine, I think there's a big shift there now. And I think there's a big shift for women to step up now. We've, I know we've always been behind um, the men. And I think we need to step up and, and be um, beside the men and walk together. Um, I think the most important thing, we all need to work together for our children and our old people to, you know, for this to continue. The bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you, Angela. Um, and thank you to Uncle Bruce Pasco and, um, you know, allowing us to be a part of that journey with him also. Thank you. Thanks, oh. Thank you. And this is only the start. Knowledge sharing doesn't stop, hey? It continues as we work together. So thank you again. One more thing I'd like to say is, is today really is about, like I said, knowledge sharing. It's not about lectures and we've got two more sessions to go. This is a, a small space, but a big space to be working in. And um, there's lots of places um, dotted around Australia that are doing lots of little things um, that can contribute to the bigger picture. Where can we buy these grains? From what I know, there aren't very many places right today that you could buy from, but I'd say after this harvest season, I know for sure Black Duck Foods will have some product. Um, and they're going to be other companies that have product at the end of this summer. Thank you again for joining. Have a great afternoon and we'll join you again another day. Bye.